Today we have a special guest in our studio. We have Tom here who's the owner of Performance Automatic. And we have a full line of Performance Automatic parts here. You guys know the name, they make great stuff for all kinds of different applications. But Tom's gonna tell us about the company, you know, how you guys got started. Yep. Tell us about Performance Automatic. Bill, thanks for having us up this week. Thanks for uh, coming out. We got a chance to show you some new products, show you what we've been working on, and give you a little history of the company. We started a little over 35 years ago. Okay. And we actually started as a regular type of transmission shop where we'd actually work on mom and pop type cars. Okay. Now we always had the performance side, but uh, our main our main deal was the uh, mom and pop type. Uh, so your standard repairs, transmission repair shop. That type of thing. But that industry changed quite a bit. So we decided 25 years ago to do strictly performance, have our product designed for the end user and it's designed to sell to companies like CJ's. We actually have moved uh, a couple times since then to expand our facility. Okay, so you don't actually work on cars at all no. anymore? You guys are strictly no, we a don't. builder? That's right, okay. we don't. We, a lot of people still assume that we do work on cars, but we have a transmission dyno, so that is our, that's our car that we use. Oh, okay, we, so you we, can test your products, stuff absolutely. like that, obviously. Well, you have to nowadays. Yeah, true. Uh, but if I could step back a little bit, about 10 years, before we started the business, I was very fortunate to work at a Ford dealership. And that kind of explains our Ford passion. Okay. I've always been there for Ford. I was fortunate to go to a Ford tech school right out of high school. So the Ford products has always been dear to our hearts. Okay. So, Us too. So. so that's what we, I always tell people we bleed blue. So today we're going to uh, uh, go through our product line, give you some really cool technical information on converters and how transmissions work and okay. a whole, whole line of stuff. We're really excited about it. Well, I know like, we're obviously Ford. I mean, that is the, the yeah. base here at CJ's, but now we've started to expand into other lines and I believe you have as well, correct? Absolutely. Uh, what happened is in our early history, we did mostly Fords, uh, but there was a really demand for the quality of our product to expand into the Chevrolet and, and Mopar lines. Okay. Um, so we've done that in the past and now we have a full uh, GM and Mopar line. Um, as I've always said, Ford's our passion, but GM <laughs> sort of pays the bills. So um, we've brought our GM products for your new GM line too. Excellent. Now obviously that you guys make transmissions, but what else as far as packages, what are the pieces of the puzzle do you offer? Well, Bill, what we found out early on was even though we did the whole transmission, obviously you can't sell just the, the transmission to a customer and expect them to be happy and expect them to have everything to get it in the car. So early on what we did, we looked at all the accessories needed to get it in the car. And we branched out into torque converters, obviously. Now, Performance Automatic is very fortunate. We have a great line of torque converters. So <clears throat> we've designed the converters mostly for the street market and some mild racing. Then we moved on to the other accessories. Uh, transmission coolers, bracketry, speedometers, pans, all the accessories that someone would want in that transmission line. So all the pieces of the puzzle basically Absolutely. Are available. I hope there are no puzzle pieces missing by the time <laughs> you're done with us. Now I know you guys, like you said, you have all the pieces and tell us about your packages. I know you guys try to make take some of the guesswork sure. out of it for people. Well we sat down over the course of six months and we looked at all the popular transmission applications within Camaros or, or even Fords, all that type of thing. And we looked at each body line and we looked at the truck sections. And we said, okay, here's the transmission, but what do we need? What does the customer need so that when he gets the product at his house, opens the box, is there everything in that box he needs? So we put those pieces together and we put, uh, not only of course, do you, are you getting a dyno transmission? you're getting the filler tube to match because what happens is what we found was people were using filler tubes that were out of the junkyard yeah, or wherever they, they had got them. Their old they transmission were, they were laying around correct. somewhere. Yeah. So we, we filler tube, we got the, even the nuts and bolts. Obviously have the, uh, for the forge, we have that block plate up front, which is very important for starter alignment. And we provide the proper bell housing and converter. And as you know, with Fords, there's a lot of different combinations for the Ford bell housing and flywheels and converters. Yes. And I know from your phone calls that that's always a confusing part. So we put that together to take the confusion out. And we're going to, of course, go into that a little later today. So if you had somebody who wanted to do a swap on a car, they can get one of those packages, add a shifter and pedals and pretty much have what pretty they Pretty much. Need. And some of our packages have shifters, too. You can go that far, <laughs> yeah, too. Yeah, we pretty much. Uh, 
Well, Bill, one of the things that we started back in 2000 was we went with a forever warranty with our C4s, our racing C4 Super Comp. What we did was <clears throat> we put together a series of parts with inside and we marketed the product so that we felt that somebody that bought our Super Comp, which we thought was the best on the market, that we would warranty it for as long as they had it. And we have, and we still warranty those to this day. You know, some of the bracket racers, we so see them. race car transmission. Warrantied forever. Is warranty. That's absolutely. That's a first. <laughs> they bring it in, we freshen it up. Some guys will bring it in and once a year, every couple of years. We see one every 10 years sometimes. So if a racer buys one of these, after every season, they could bring it to absolutely. you. Absolutely. Get it freshened, put it back in the car for the next yeah. year at no charge, except just getting it to it you. It goes through the same process in the shop as, as, a, as a new build. The guys, don't, the guys know it as a freshen up, but we don't do anything different. We put the latest parts in. If we've made some changes during the years, we'll, we'll add that part in. <clears throat> um, now, if it comes back damaged for some reason, we always advise the customer what we found because okay. maybe the drive shaft's too long or too short. They had the wrong converter in the you Source know, the something. Source the problem. Figure or out the where the issue's coming from. Absolutely. Makes sense. Even if it's not our converter, we'll take care of it. We always felt that that was kind of a special club for those guys. They... They really appreciate that. that. I mean, as, as a drag racer, that amazes yeah. me because I, mean, I, I know what these cars go through. I know the abuse yeah, these cars see on a regular yeah. basis. Absolutely. That's why we don't go to the and track. And to see something <laughs> like that being guaranteed for life of the transmission, you're basically saying. Absolutely. We, we, don't, we don't put a, a, a year. All they do is, with all our stuff, is you send in a warranty and we register it within the computer. And uh, as long as we have your paperwork on file, it, does, it doesn't matter. Now, that's not transferable. Sure. But what we also did is we moved that lifetime warranty onto some other products, and we're going to get into that uh, a little later, too. So that has also, with our Street Smart packages, some of those products are warrantied forever. Okay. And that's really cool, too. Now, as I said, it's not a transferable warranty, but if the, if the customer transfers the transmission to another product, if they, you know, wreck a car or they just put take it out of my Mustang and put it in Absolutely. a different Mustang or, or something. Say, for <laughs> instance, their engine blew up or their engine's down, they can send it to us, we'll freshen it up, no charge. Wow, okay. It doesn't even have to be broken. Maybe it's five years old and it's been sitting around or something. Now, you've said the C4, probably still your number one. At times, yes. The C4 is still... You know, it's pretty much all that fits in a 65 Mustang still. True, without a saw, um, correct. And it's still a great, you know, it's still a great bracket transmission, mm -hmm. you know, and our Super Comp. It's still the heart of a lot of race cars. It's still a lot of race cars. Uh, we've seen them go low eights um, at the track. So th they're very flexible as far as where they can end up. Um, and uh, they're so small and easy to work with, and they take very little horsepower to turn. That's why they're still popular. Now, we talked about the C4. Um, this one here, obviously, you're taking is a shell that has some yeah. of your parts on it, but this was built in 96? Last year you said these Oh, this one, this, this particular one. Um, actually, C4s uh, sort of go in certain categories, and uh, I can tell you that uh, 65, 66 were the first category. Mm -hmm. 67 through 69, another category. 70 through um, <clears throat> 70 through 1980, another category. Okay. And then this is the last one. This is basically 81, 82, and they finished with this type of C4 in 86. 86. Okay, yeah, it was a decade yeah. off. Sorry about that. And uh, that's going to make a difference in converter selection, and we'll get into that when we do converters. And where do you see performance automatic heading as far as the future? Now we've got 10 speeds or the norm in the Mustang. Well, we, 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 we always keep an eye on that stuff. So we do have some six speeds in our six. We're doing a lot of six speeds now. Okay, cool. Um, the transmission, we did bring one and we'll show it to you and we'll show you the pros and cons of that six speed. Okay. Um, and we're also now looking to the 10 speed. Now that is a very large transmission. Yes, the 10 I've speed. seen them. They are monsters. Um, but we're, it looks like we're going to do some uh, accessory products for that. Excellent. Hey, Tom, thank you very much. We Bill, appreciate you coming out pleasure. and tell us about Performance Automatic. Oh, it's been great.